Well, didn't get to start seeing you today. Just too much going on. Didn't quite get to it. Got too late to start, so didn't feel like starting the evening. Didn't really feel like doing that. Just a lot of shuffling around stuff yet, getting some other equipment ready and and uh yeah, pretty much getting more equipment ready. That's all it's been. Yeah, at least I think I got the Outback GPS. Well, don't let it get away, Kitty. Kitty, don't you dare let that get away. Where'd you get that from? Come on, go get him. Geeky. Kitty, screwing around. Oh my gosh, Kitty! I swear. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> don't don't play with your food, Kitty. Go get it. The mouse isn't doing so good. Mouse is slowing up a little bit. Kitty, just kill it, please. She's playing with her food. But anyway, so I kind of got some cables tidied, kind of, not really. Oh, jeez, Kitty. She'll be in here for a while, screwing around. Good grief. But, uh, but anyways, yeah, finally got the, well, got the haybine head on the uh, swather now. Actually looks pretty nice on there. I got it hooked up. Well, not hooked up all. I just got it hooked up to the machine and that's it. I just parked it in here then. Not have time to go over it right now. But yeah, pretty snazzy on there. Pretty snazzy. Can't wait to use it. So I got a few more things to do. I gotta talk to my salesman and see if, if I can't get a spare knife for it. I thought it's I thought it came with a spare knife. There's a whole placeholder for it, but there's nothing in there. So I gotta I gotta call him and see if he can throw me a set of spare knives in because I'd love to have a set of spare knives so I can have a brand new knife ready to go. So I can pop them in then, but whatever. But hopefully tomorrow though I can start doing the organic stuff though. Start tackling that. Um, got quite a few summer fellow fields this year. Got that one, that other one. We'll have. I mean, it'll take a couple days, of course, but. Um, Got to put a mix in alfalfa and meadow brome grass for two of the smaller fields. And so it'll take a little extra time then. But yeah, it was another heck of a day today. And just doing all sorts of odds. And I don't feel like I accomplished much because I'm not out in the field yet. Because pretty much all of April was cattle, cattle, cattle. That's all it was. I think I may have had one or two days in April where I actually did other work besides cattle. <laughs> it was bad. Luckily, my brother came home when he could to, to do a few things just to kind of get rolling on stuff. And Yeah. Late. Yeah, finally in the fields. Finally. <clears throat> Yeah, there's a there's still a bit of moisture in the fields here. It's I think it's actually doing a little bit better job uh, plowing too this year. Seems like it. Just got the big plow here going for now. My brother's actually spreading some urea right now in one of his fields. Once he gets done with that, he's gonna get the little plow hooked up if everything goes good and and uh, start going with that plow then. Same chance of thunderstorms later this afternoon, so who, who knows how far along we'll get today. Pretty windy again today. Pretty muggy out. Almost actually, actually a little ugly outside. 
actually finally hit 60 degrees yesterday too <clears throat> for the first time since March had one day in March where I had different reports that it was only like 58 degrees or 59 degrees for one of those days in March but I still think it hit 60 degrees one day in March but but it only took till whenever May something to finally get to that 60 degree mark kind of looks like the rest of the week is supposed to be 60s too finally kind of I wouldn't say stabilizing but staying milder but a lot of a lot of rain chances yet though following week here so I just wonder how much stuff we will be doing still after I gotta I'm keeping track of my rounds here make sure I'm seeding it enough poundage so probably after I should be able to make five rounds but shouldn't be able to make six though to get a good a good number here <clears throat> doesn't I'll have to check my depth again too I checked it the first few rounds checked it I'll probably check it again though once get out after my fourth round to see how my drill is doing. Make sure I'm hopefully seating heavy enough. making progress yet. In this uh, freshly broken up field. Well, broke up last year, but yeah, pulls a lot harder in here, that sod. Doing a fairly nice job. Just a couple spots. Maybe it should have been dissed, but yeah be a pretty nice feel if we get the rain I guess this summer got the other plow going now brother got done spreading what he needed to get done and I got the other plow going now so taking 18 feet now no wait no 20 feet 20 feet my bad taking 20 feet total now between both of us a whoopee yeah yep seen in the rain must be some lightning uh, lightning and thundering at times not really much of a system just Green. Yeah, no more dust. <laughs> there wasn't much dust to, be, to begin with anyways, but it might be a theme for this year. Not really singing in the rain, but seating in the rain. about running the plows I guess versus the, the air drill is the air drill we would have to quit a long time ago <laughs> wouldn't want it to be sucking up moisture into the to the system the wind really backed off outside too it was blowing like mad for a while now it's actually blowing like mad all day really bad for a while this afternoon okay call mom and ever come out I suppose if 
probably be my last round then. I gotta take the gravity box home then. I can take it home with you got that cold yeah. I'm operating to be cleaned out too when there's some lightning. I'm operating to be cleaned out too. I got my extra coat with me so I'll I'll be the warmest so Kinda kinda sticky down here. <laughs> it's all gonna get worse now from for a few days. <laughs> Glad I stayed away as far as I did. Got a lot of driving here yet to do. 